Hey my friend, it's Louis Massaro, author of 10 Rules of a Profitable Moving Company and founder of Moving Mastery. Today I wanna to talk about rule number five of 10 Rules of a Profitable Moving Company, which is master what's in front of you, okay? This is such an important topic that I know a lot of people are struggling with. You know, what does that mean? What does master what's in front of you mean? Well, you know, recently I was working with someone who you know, was looking for different ways to, you know, grow their business and they wanted to become more profitable and they wanted to make more money, right? It's like the whole American dream. Everybody wants to make more money, which is fine. That's why you're in business. But, you know, the dollars are in the details, right? So master what's in front of you means before you, you know, this person I was working with wanted to start interstate. They wanted to start long distance moving and they were only currently doing locals but they didn't really master their local yet. And there was so much room for improvement with their local business and so many areas to tweak to become more profitable with their local business. So I said, you know, why go and, you know, buy a truck for long distance and try to do more, right? And that's the trap that a lot of us fall into, which is we think that more means more money, right? Or more means more profit. And it's not always the case because as you get into different lines of business and as you take on more, you know, responsibilities, you know, there, there's a lot that goes into that, right? And when I started, I only did local moves, right? We had calls coming in every day for long distance, right? My major advertising source was Yellow Pages. I couldn't decide whether I got a call for a local move or a long distance move. I just got calls for people looking for movers, okay? And, you know, there was a, some temptation there. I was like, wow, I'm getting all these calls already, right? This is the logic that I know a lot of people, you know, go with. And this is what pushes them into doing something they might not be ready for yet, okay? So with me, it was like, wow, you know, we're already getting the calls. Why not just get some trucks and put them on the road and start doing long distance? And I knew that wasn't the right move yet. Okay, because I didn't master my local business. I still had things to tweak and improve and processes to put in place. It was not a fine tuned machine uh, like I later made it, right? So, you know, master what's in front of you, right? Don't, don't look at the next thing and the next thing and say, well, you know, maybe I can get into a different business. The moving business, I'm not making, I'm not making enough money here. You're not. Do you feel that you've mastered the business? Do you feel that you've done everything you can to you know, take the trucks you have, the office, the warehouse, the staff, whatever, or if it's just you, have you done everything you can to maximize what you have? And you've done that and you still aren't making money? Well, how is it possible that there's other people in the business making money, right? How is it possible that you know, there's people that are becoming millionaires in this business and, and you know, you want to go get into a different business or you feel that you need to, you know, get into a different line of work. I'm not saying any of this to discourage anybody from moving forward. I'm saying this for everybody, all of us, me, you know, I grew pretty quickly myself, you know, I, I grew, you know, probably faster than I should have with opening up all my locations. All right. And I was kind of mastering it along the way and it was, it was tough. But the one thing that I was very happy that I did was I focused on mastering the local before I got into long distance, right? We get calls every day and we just recommend them to one of the van lines, right? Sorry, we only perform local moves, call this van line or call that van line. And that's what we did because if you don't focus on what you have in front of you and make sure that you have it under control, going into a different line of, you know, the business or a different business is only going to distract you even further. All right. Don't be a jack of all trades. If you're a jack of all trades, you're not going to be profitable. All right. You have to focus in on what it is you're doing now. Make that the best you can. Tighten that up, you know, become more profitable in that area. Use these 10 rules of a profitable moving company. If you're not you know, if you didn't download the book, the ebook off my website, and you're not looking at all 10 rules and saying, am I doing all of this right now in my business? Do that, right? 
more isn't always better. The next thing isn't always better. It's not always greener. You know, the grass isn't always greener on the other side. So mastering what's in front of you is so, so important. You know, what is it you need to learn? Where are you struggling? Okay. You have to look at where you're struggling. When I started, I didn't know what I was doing. You know, I would just look at the areas where I was struggling and then I looked for resources and ways to improve in those areas. So where is it you're having trouble? Is it sales? Is it customer service? Is it, you know, leadership and management? Are you having a tough time, you know, managing your crews? You know, is it the marketing? Is it just business process and getting everything in a nice system that's organized that works, you know, consistently? Figure out where you can improve on what's in front of you before you go to the next thing. Okay. Because when you go to the next thing, I hate to tell you, you're going to have the same frustrations. You're going to have the same problems you're having now. Okay. Even if you decide, I don't want to be in this business anymore. I want to go do a different business, master it first, then go and get into another business. All right. Business is business. All right. It's not a matter of, the moving business versus whatever other business. Okay. The principles are still the same. So focus on what's in front of you, master what's in front of you, learn what you need to learn, take online courses, read books, speak to people, do some research, right? Do what you need to do to master what's there because that's where the profits are, right? If you try to go into something else, you're going to have to spend money to get into something else, right? Look around and say, what do, what do I have now, right? What is everything that I have that I could work with now? How can I tighten this up? How can I make this better? How could I make this more profitable? Okay. Who do I need to hire? Who do I need to fire? What do I need to learn? Right? Again, I'm, I'm a big proponent of learning. I believe learners are earners. I feel that, you know, that's what made me successful is that early on I figured out what it is I was struggling with and I went and learned how to overcome it. All right. It doesn't just happen. Nobody's just born with, you know, the ability to, you know, master business and you don't need to go to business school to do it. You just need to be able to look and sit back and look at your situation and, and say, what do I need to get better at? Right. What do I need to improve? What do I need to master that's already here in front of me? Make that list, take out a piece of paper, make the list of what you need to master, go master it and then decide if you want to get into this or you want to get into that. All right. But I can tell you, if you master what's in front of you, your confidence is going to go through the roof and you're going to be more profitable. And then if you decide to get into something else, you're doing it because it's the right decision and it's a calculated decision and not that you're just reaching for something different. All right. So follow this rule. It'll help you become more profitable. It'll help you focus in on, on the different areas and the details of your business where you can make more money. And I'll see you next time. Profit in business, thrive in life. Have a good one. Hey, my friend, it's Lewis. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Do me two favors. Number one, subscribe to this channel so that you continue to get updates every time I release new training for you. And number two, if you'd like to get ahead a little bit faster and become more profitable in your business, what I'd like to do is give you a copy of my 10 rules of a profitable moving company. These are the same 10 rules that I applied in my business that helped me grow it into a multi-million dollar nationwide company. Okay. So all you need to do is click on the link on this page or head over to lewismassaro.com forward slash 10 rules. So that's Lewis, L O U I S. Masaro, M A S S A R O dot com forward slash 10 rules. Just put in your name and email address and I'll email you out a copy. Okay. Until then, every single day, go out and profit in business and thrive in life. I'll see you later.